What's going on guys? CTA Prime back here again. Today I wanted to test out 10 Dreamcast games running on the Nvidia Shield Android TV. For this test, I'm going to be using Raycast. Now I'm going to be swapping between the standalone version of Raycast and the core built into RetroArch. Some games just run better in the standalone, some games just run better in RetroArch. At least this is how it is in my experience. I've done a lot of testing here. Now I'm going to be using some of the newer Raycast APKs or the newer builds of the standalone Raycast from their website. I'll leave a link in the description. They have been updating it more frequently and it works a lot better than the old version of Raycast that was on the Play Store. Now you can opt into the beta from the Play Store and they update every month, but I've just been downloading their development builds from GitHub. I'm going to be starting out with RetroArch, and most of these games do work really well with the Raycast Core in RetroArch. I'm going to have the FPS listed in the lower left hand corner, and if you see the FPS counter in the lower left, then you know it's running in RetroArch. If you see an FPS counter that's not working in the upper left hand corner, then you know it's running in the standalone version of Raycast. First game I'm going to test is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. This is one of my favorite fighting games of all time. And with each one of these games, there will be box art listed on the right hand side of the screen so you know what game is playing at any given time.
With this game here, Sonic Adventure 2, I was getting around 28 to 34 FPS using the RetroArch Raycast Core. When I swapped over to the standalone version, I got full speed. I know the FPS counter isn't working, but I've played this game hundreds of times. It's running at 60 FPS. Just want to mention this real quick. Yes, this is the beginning cutscene, but it is running in engine. So you will get 60 FPS out of this game pretty much anywhere you go. We still got the messed up eyes going on here. Now it's a lot better than older versions of Raycast, but you can see it coming up right now. Kind of cuts out around his eyes. But ever since the PC version of this game dropped, I really haven't been messing around with the Dreamcast version. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Overall Dreamcast performs pretty well on the Nvidia Shield Android TV. Legacy of Kane wasn't quite at 60 FPS, it was around 47 and I could definitely feel it even before that FPS counter kicked in and started showing me how it was running. 
I recently put out a couple other videos showcasing different emulators running on the Shield, like GameCube and PSP. If you want to check those videos out, link for those are in the description and on screen now. If you're looking for the best Android TV, you don't need to look any further. The Shield is where it's at. And as of making this video, it's around Black Friday 2018. These are on sale everywhere for $139. I'll leave a link to Amazon in the description. If you want to get it from your local Best Buy or Newegg, you can also do that. If you guys want to see anything else running on the Shield, just let me know in the comments below and I'll get a video made up. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.